Well, hello, Crazy from Moorhead here, heading in to Hollywood Studios. Today is Monday, July 17th. Uh, I have to be honest, I live in the Tampa area. It roughly takes about an hour and a half to get here. Today it took almost three hours with the I-4 traffic. So, I usually like to come later in the day. I don't get here at open. I'm an annual pass holder, so I just arrive here around 2 or 3 p.m. on a weekday. Um, it seems like a lot of people start leaving by that time, and it just seems a little better for me, plus I stay late. So uh, let's go in and see what they got to offer today here at Disney's Hollywood Studios. Okay, we are here at the Hollywood Studios entrance um, where they search your bags and you can get your uh, wheelchairs and your strollers. So let's head on in, guys. Okay, we are inside Hollywood Studios. I gotta be honest with you, it was super hot out today, but it rained on the way up and it definitely cooled it uh, down out here. Uh, it's actually not that busy from what I'm seeing. Again, it is after 2 p.m. on a Monday. Uh, I believe kids are still in, uh, out of school, but it's still pretty slow in here. Um, I've got a ride reserved for the Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railroad straight ahead at the Hollywood Theater at 3.35. So. I'm going to walk around and uh, look at some of the gift shops. Let's go, guys. Okay, first things first. Right after getting into Hollywood Studios, we're greeted by the chicken from Star Wars. A bunch of little chickens from Star Wars. Apparently, Chewbacca, uh, the, Chewbacca's family or whatever, they eat these birds. Oh, they're called corks. And on the other side, <coughs> we have Grogu, which is Baby Yoda. Stuffed animals. Who doesn't want to own their own parking lot tram? Here's a Muppets lounge fly bag. The guy with the gold tooth. Which I have to get my gold tooth uh, fixed. And then you also have 101 Dalmatians. Cinderella. got Oswald the Lucky Rabbit driving a car. Cool. This is the box. There it is. Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railroad. Nothing can stop us now. We don't know how. Now this is pretty cool. You got Mickey and Minnie standing by a TV set. And Pluto's lounging around. Behind it you have the Walt Disney World book, 50 Years of the Most Magical Place on Earth. There's the Disney Eras right here. Uh, let's see what the price is. That's a 100th anniversary. It is. I am not sure the price. There's no price on it, so that means it's expensive. Uh-oh, I'm in trouble. Look at this. I'm trying to get it out here. It's got Mickey Mouse on it and... Tommy Hilfiger. I love Tommy Hilfiger merchandise. It is so comfortable. The cotton that they use at Tommy Hilfiger is just so nice. 
I mean, it feels so good. Let's see what the price of that is. Uh, 80, 89.90. That's not too bad for a Disney merchandise Tommy Hilfiger. I, I once had a bed all Tommy Hilfiger, and it is really comfortable. Scratch that wrong building. Roger Rabbit is right there. Haha. -ha. And Eddie Valiant, private investigator. Please, Eddie. Please. Now, this window that I'm looking directly at, um, a long time ago, back in the 90s, uh, there was actually a silhouette of Roger Rabbit that looked like he crashed through the window. So I guess they removed that. Of course, you can't come to Hollywood Studios without looking at some Disney Munchlings. Little cheeseburger, little cupcake. So, Cinnabon cinnamon roll. And I guess this is supposed to be like a, a Mike sugar cookie. 